I get like zoomed in on this tiny little spot and it doesn't look like anything. And I keep thinking to myself, what am I doing? Where is this going? What's happening? <laughs> and then because this is legitimately just how my brain works, it always just jumps into this like bigger meaning of things. And I start thinking about how painting is just so full of metaphors for life. And then I start thinking about my life is just like this corner of the painting and how I'm just doing stuff and I don't know what I'm doing and hoping that it'll work out okay. And I better take a step back and look at the big picture. First, I want to say that like I paint because I enjoy the process of it. I don't do anything with my paintings. I don't sell paintings. I don't do commissions. I only do it because I enjoy it. And I usually do it when I feel like I need to. And what I mean by that is that painting puts you into um, a very specific, at least for me, mental space. I can work on the painting and kind of process my thoughts on things in kind of like a almost removed manner. So 2020, Two, 2023 were horrible years for me. 2024, I was, my new year's resolutions was just basically like, I wanna enjoy my life no matter what it takes, I'm gonna do this. And I have felt like I have tried really hard and almost every step of the way, I've had the rug pulled out from underneath me and just like one thing after another. Now, while I was painting, I filmed a lot of me talking, but essentially <laughs> when I reviewed the footage, it is so all over the place and so random that I don't think I could really pull a full story together. And that is why I decided to just film this little snippet to kind of like pull some context in for you. Um, I do share this whole long rambling story about how I eventually decided to paint Jonah and what it was about her that made me decide to paint her. But on top of that, um, before I decided to paint Jonah, I had just been having a rough time and deciding that I really needed to just paint something. So let's talk about why I chose to paint Jonah. I used to paint fan art for a show called The Magicians. That came about kind of randomly, actually. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I submit photos to book covers sometimes. And many, many years ago, on the blog of the agency that I submit book covers to, they posted a, a blog post about the magicians, this new show that was coming out and it was like magical realism, blah, blah, blah. It was an inspiration post. Had, that's how I heard about the show. I haven't had cable or anything for a very long time. I've had Netflix, that's about it. So if something's not on Netflix, then the only other way that I watch it is I borrow the DVDs from the library. I decided to look up the show in the library catalog and see if they had the DVDs and they did. So I borrowed the whole season and I binge watched it on DVD and it just so happened to be October. And because it was October, I had decided for the first time to participate in Inktober. And the reason why I did, this is so weird, okay? So this is just like an unraveling sweater story of how I got into fan art. <laughs> the reason why I was doing Inktober and illustration was because shortly before that, my camera like crapped out and I couldn't take photos anymore. 
And so because I couldn't take photos anymore, I was like, crap, how am I gonna sell book covers? I better start doing illustration. So I just started drawing and then it was October. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do Inktober. And then I was like, what, what am I gonna draw for all this Inktober inspiration? And then I was like, well, I'm watching this TV show, The Magicians. And then, so I just started making Magicians fan art and then I was posting it and I was like, okay, well, I better tag these people that are acting in the show because that's the nice thing to do with fan art. So then I would tag them and I started following them on social media. And I just really actually liked everybody in the show. Like, I don't know, there's just something about those actors that just seemed like a really cool group of, I mean, they're not super famous. They're not freaking like Tom Cruise famous or anything. They're probably people that most people would not recognize their names unless they were a magician's fan. Um, so they were like humble and chill and cool. And like that just inspired me more to keep making fan art. Okay. So that was a really long explanation of why I did fan art. So <laughs> getting to now, I was like, okay, I want to, I want to paint something. I want to get back into that like project that's going to just suck me in and take away all of my overthinking and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm not watching anything. I don't have a show on the go. Like I said, I, I barely even watch Netflix anymore, but I do watch YouTube, which I didn't before. Actually, I didn't start watching YouTube until I started making YouTube videos. So the last few years, I have been watching Jonah. And again, it's kind of like the fan art thing. Once you start following somebody and you can't kind of get an idea of like their personality, what they're about, like their values, their beliefs, these kinds of things. That's when you really start to follow somebody else and become like a loyal viewer or subscriber or fan or whatever. And so of all the YouTubers that I, I watch, she was one of the first people that I found that I will watch every video she posts. So I decided, okay, well, why not? I'll pay Jonah if I'm gonna like stare at somebody. This is this is another big part of like the fan art thing. If I'm gonna stare at somebody for like literally days that their face and like obsess about their nostrils or something, like I probably wanna like them. <laughs> it's probably somebody that I wanna relate to on some level. I don't want to paint somebody that I don't like because that's, I don't know, that just doesn't sound fun to me. That's why I decided to paint Jonah. Um, the reason why I like her content, of all of the people like out there making content right now, she does actually feel like a truly authentic person. And I know that's such a buzzword and everybody's like, be authentic. And they, you know, do all these things to be authentic. But she, I, I actually feel like that's something that she gets right. I don't feel like she's overly scripted or trying too hard. She's gonna we'll go sit out in the mosquitoes. <laughs> They'll be like flying around her head. And I feel like other people wouldn't do that because they're like, oh, there's too many mosquitoes in the shot. Um, so it's those details that I really resonate with her because dude, there's lots of mosquitoes where I live too. Um, which brings me to another point. So Jonah is located in Sweden. I've never been. I'm not Swedish and I know that because I just had my 23 and me. However, the climate there is similar to where I am, which is in British Columbia, Canada. It's probably a little bit harsher there and I know it definitely gets darker longer. But aside from that, like the seasons are, you know, on the same cycle. We have lots of snow, um, the cold, all of that stuff. So when she posts like her monthly updates or kind of these vlog videos, whatever she's dealing with, whether it is a dump of snow, freezing cold temperatures, picking berries or mosquitoes, like it doesn't matter. Um, that's usually what I'm doing too. <laughs> and I like that, you know, cause I like, she lives this quaint little life and it looks ideal and lovely, but on the flip side, I know from experience, it's not always ideal and lovely. It makes me feel better. Every time I have to go out to the shed and load up on firewood, I think about Jonah doing that too. And I, and it, 
just makes me feel not alone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a lot of the reason why I watch her, why I decided to paint her. I just vibe with the whole thing. The whole thing, it's just a mood. Having a project to work on is one of these things that keeps you grounded when you don't know what's going on. Also, you know, when you're working on a project, it doesn't necessarily even have to be a painting, but sometimes like you're working on something and you're in the beginning stages, maybe you've, you've put in a few hours, but it's looking crazy. It looks like crap. And there's this level of like having faith that you can pull something together. <laughs> and so I also attribute that to like where I was in life. Like there's this whole, like, I don't know what's happening, but I just kind of have to like believe that if I keep going, um, it will work out in the end. Is it a masterpiece? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not like a professional painter. I just do this apparently for therapy reasons. <laughs> I've always felt like being creative is the closest thing that we will actually have to magic. Making something that didn't exist before, that's basically magic in my mind. And that's all I really want to do with my life. I just want to spend every day making things. And I don't care if it's a painting or a YouTube video or a photo. And when I focus on that, it makes all the hard things in life and all the disappointments and even all the bad people <laughs> kind of just like fade away into the background. None of that matters when I get to make something. When I made this video and I started this painting, I knew I was doing it because I needed to like brain escape, but I didn't know that it would bleed into the video. I thought that I would just make a cool behind the scenes video about painting Jonah and that I would never actually share anything about why and how I got to that point. It's just so relevant. I, I feel like I can't not explain that. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. This year, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a grab bag. You don't know what you're going to get. It's a mystery surprise from me. I'm just making whatever I feel like. <laughs>